Okay, folks, just a, a quick word in response to a few of the comments on the channel. Um, I train dogs for rough shooting. That's what I do. Um, I don't train dogs for as peg dogs or any other kind of dogs except for rough shooting. So the, the techniques and the methods I use are techniques and methods that I have learned over many years of hunting and gun dog ownership. Now that's not to say that I know it all about it. That's not to say that I am an expert trainer. I'm very much an amateur trainer. But the methods I use have worked for me for many years. Um, another thing, um, I treat dogs as dogs. Now, that doesn't diminish in any way my duty of care to the dog or my love for dogs in general. They're not human beings. They're not fur babies. I don't treat them as such. I treat them as dogs. And I treat them very well, and I don't treat them harshly in any way. I do whatever is necessary to train them, and that doesn't involve any cruelty of any kind, as has been suggested by some people. So um, I'd just like to make that clear before um, I get on with the training. So thanks for listening. Hey, Ruby! You go, Ruby. Hop. Hey, 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 hey. Hop. I'm still working on Ruby's steadiness here, as you can see. And um, that's a work in progress, of course. She's young, has a lot to learn. So, um, we're working on her steadiness. And the sit and stay, of course, is a big part of that. But there are also another couple of issues that we need to deal with. And um, a lot of people have been looking for this video in particular. Now, Springer Spaniels, of course, are flushing dogs. As the name implies, they spring game from cover for the gun. That's basically their job description, if you like. Now, retrieving. Most Springer Spaniels will retrieve. Hundreds of generations of them have been bred selectively just for that purpose, for hunting, flushing, and then retrieving shot game. So most of them will in fact retrieve, but there are those of them who will not retrieve, sometimes never. Sometimes they will retrieve occasionally and can be very haphazard about it, but most of them will in fact be quite good retrievers, although they are not true retrievers in the real sense of the word. They were, they're, not, um, they're not Labradors or they're not golden retrievers. They're not retru re true retrievers. They're flushing dogs, essentially. But if you have one that will retrieve, of course, that's a bonus. And most of them that I have had will, in fact, retrieve. But we have a couple of issues here with Ruby. Now, the first thing is, there's two, there's two issues. And they're going to require two... Um, sets of ways of solving the two issues. They'll be two separate things. Now the first thing is, what I'll do is I'll show you the issues and then I can talk about them in more detail. Right Ruby, hop. Hop. Now, hop. You can still see she's not completely steady as yet. You see the, the, the foreleg this, she's at this, hi, hop. This, as I say, is a work in progress, hop. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shore the tennis ball. And I'm gonna throw it for her, hop. Now she likes tennis balls. Curiously enough, it's about the only thing that she's interested in retrieving. When I say retrieving, you'll see 
what exactly she does. Girl, girl, Ruby, what's that? What's that? What's that, Ruby? Ruby, Ruby. Now she will pick it up. And she'll run around me. Ruby. Ruby. Now she's just dropped it over there. Ruby. Ruby. Now, she's running around in a circle. That's the number one issue, but that's easy to solve. The second issue is the spitting it out, and that requires a lot of work. Just show you once more. Ruby. It's not an easy problem to resolve. The number one issue, as I say, is just running around the place. In order to stop that problem, or to solve that problem, all I do is I restrict her space, bring her to an alleyway, or somewhere where she can't run left and right. Basically, she's only got one option, and that's to come back towards me. So that's a simple problem to solve. The spitting out is another issue altogether. Now, sometimes that can be solved really easily by just finding something else that the dog will really like to hold on to. I can't find one in the case of Ruby. Some, some of them, these here, a few old socks roll into a ball. Dogs love socks, particularly if you've worn them for a day or two, they love the smell. But you'll see what Ruby does with this. She has virtually, now she'll jump around after, but if I throw this for her, she'll just run out and you'll see what'll happen. Yeah. Completely ignores it. She has no interest in it whatsoever. So that's not going to solve the problem. So how am I going to solve it? It's going to take a lot of work to solve the spitting out problem. Now, I would be happy, more or less, to have the dog retrieve shot game and just drop it at my feet. But sometimes the, the bird is only winged and then the bird can run off again. So we would much prefer if the dog brought the shot game and held it for you to take to take it. Unfortunately, I don't know yet whether that would be the case with Ruby, because with shot game, she might want to really hold on to it, unlike with the socks. And she may in fact hold on to it and deliver it to hand, but I don't know that yet. So what I have to do is, I have to work on the assumption that she won't, that she's gonna continuously spit out. So in order to solve that problem, like I say, it's gonna take quite a bit of time. So I get around to that in a while. Let's have a look at those socks again, Ruby. Where are they? She can smell it, but she will not pick it up. No matter how much I tease her with it, she has no interest whatsoever. And I've tried other dummies as well. Good girl. She just won't hold it, she won't grab it. Good girl. Oh, that's her first time ever picking that up. I'm really happy with that now. Ruby! Now she's run off with it. I'm absolutely delighted. This is a, a big change. Good girl! Ruby! Ruby, Ruby! She's dropped it again. Hold on. There she's picking it, picking it. Yes, Ruby! Good girl! Good girl! Yeah, she's dropped it over there again. But that's something I wasn't expecting at all, for her to pick it up, because she wouldn't pick it up yesterday, or the day before. Ruby! <laughs> so now, the fact that she's picked it up once means that she'll probably pick it up again. Now, will that solve the spitting problem? I don't think so. Girl! Oh yes! Who's a great girl? Who's a great girl? That's a real improvement now. I'm very, very much pleased with that. She's run off. She's gone 100 meters at least with it, but I, I'm not too worried about it. She's dropped it. I'm going to have to go and retrieve it myself, I think. Hang on. She's gone again for it. Oh, she's picked it again. Oh. Ruby! Great girl! Who's a great girl? Who's a great girl? Look at this! Oh, yes! Now, she spat it out, but she retrieved it. That's fantastic. Now, good girl. Good girl. So, you've witnessed something that I wasn't expecting at all here this morning. That's fantastic. So now, to get her to bring it to hand and not spit it out, that is another day's work. And I'm going to be working on that in a few minutes. Be sure to stay with me. Good girl. All right, Ruby. A little bit of pressure coming on, Ruby. 
Ruby won't hold, she won't deliver to hand basically. Now, there's one way that I know of fixing this, but it requires a lot of work. And I don't know whether I'm prepared to do that because it's gonna take at least daily work for about a month in order to fix this problem. I'm gonna show you how it's done, but I don't know whether I'm actually gonna continue with it because it puts quite a lot of pressure on the dog as well. So I'm in two minds as to whether I will, I'll show you how I do it and then I'll make my mind up whether or not I'm gonna to continue to the point where she's, where she's cured of the problem, if you like. But it, in the beginning, it puts quite a lot of pressure on the dog, as you'll see here. Basically what you have to do is you have to force the dog to hold whatever it is you want them to retrieve often enough and for long enough that the dog essentially gives in and holds on to whatever it is and brings it to hand. Now I'm going to show you how it's done. I don't like doing this, but it has to be done just for demonstration purposes. Ruby, hop, hop. So effectively what you have to do is open the dog's mouth, hop, and force them to hold. Hold, hold, hold. She's trying to get it away, trying to spit it out. So it's a struggle for her. She doesn't like it. Hold, 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 hold. This is what you're gonna to have to do to fix this problem. If you're prepared to do this, if you're prepared to put the dog under that kind of pressure. I'm not, um, I don't think I will. I don't think I'll uh, put her through it because it is quite stressful for the dog. Eventually they become accustomed to it, but it's very stressful for them in the beginning. I'll try once more, Ruby. Ruby, hold, hold, good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Now she, Ruby, hold, hold, hold. Good girl, 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 good girl. She's trying to get rid of it all the time. Now she held it for a little while there. So you would have to do this basically every day for maybe a month, possibly even six weeks in order that the dog will retrieve the hand. And like I said, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do that. Once more, Ruby, Ruby. She's anticipating it now and doesn't like it at all. And I don't like doing it, but once more, just for demonstration purposes. Hold, Ruby, Ruby. Ruby, hold. Now she, she's just, it's like trying to hold an eel. Ruby, Ruby, hop, hop, hold, good girl, good girl, good girl, good, hold, hold, hold. So that's it folks, that's how you fix it, basically. The other thing, the running off with the retrieve, easy to fix, all you do is you find a, an area where the dog can't escape essentially and has no option but to come to you. So that's it Ruby, I'm not gonna do it to you. Good girl. I'm going to throw it for her once more and just see what she does. Good girl. Good girl. Hey. And off she goes again. Back to 100 metres that direction. Like I said, that's not uh, a big problem to fix. The holding one. No, I'm not prepared to put her through that kind of pressure. So if your dog has that issue, it's up to you whether you um, want to basically force the dog to um, to do it and take that much time. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. At least she's bringing it back to me. I'm happy enough with that and I'm gonna stay with that. I'm not gonna put her under that pressure. So that's it folks. That's uh, the retrieving issues with Ruby. Hup. I hope you found the video instructive and it's your choice whether or not you want to um, do what I've just demonstrated. So that's it folks, that's uh, it from me and from Ruby today. Got a meal of as up for Cholwyder, agus gri the chasfer in a chile a rish moit. Slaan tamo. Come on Ruby, be care. Be care. Be care, come on. <laughs>